Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Hey, it is lovely to have you here. I have something on the table that came to me by way of Dirk Warning. Now, Dirk, and I'll post a link to his channel down in the description, has a just outrageous knife collection. It is otherworldly. I, I love it a ton. Um, he has been a fan of this particular style of knife and this brand now for a little while, and he was nice enough to pass one of these along for us to look at, which is, in the end, a real gift. This is the VC Edge. Well, hang on. Let's take a look. It comes in... This is the VC Edge interface. It comes with a nice little pouch and some foam, and each one comes with a card. These are like nothing else in the knife world. Um, this one is was made actually in uh, April of 2022. Uh, it's M390 and carbon fiber. Um, let's get the uh, elephant out of the room first. These are about a thousand bucks, and you can spend more than that on one if you want. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but this is something special. So let's take a look. First, listen. I love that double snap as it breaks the detent. Uh, this is a carbon fiber knife with an in, like a married into it M390 cutting edge, and it comes into about about that second line on the carbon fiber, right? So it's married in about that far. Um, this knife is very light and very nimble and very easy to carry, and. It's just wonderful. It's even milled. On the inside, it says VC Edge 04 2022 USA. Um, this is titanium that has been super milled out as well. It's got a tie clip. Everything about this knife was designed to create the lightest carry possible in an... Oh, God, I love that sound. One more time. double snap. It's just amazing as it breaks the detent. Um, anyway, sorry, I really am in love with this knife. So let's talk about a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars is an excessive amount of money for a knife. It just is. I mean, you can pick yourself up lots of knives in, you know, in the two, three, and even $400 range. Um, and even less than that. I mean, you can spend 40 bucks, you know, or you can spend 240 bucks or, you know, you could spend well more right? But you're not going to get this. And that's where the difference comes. These, this knife is $40. This one is $240. They are both one cliff. This is a button lock. This is an axis style lock. They are both steel linered. This one is carbon fiber. But my, you get my point, right? Even the most expensive knives tend to share some features. I mean, my sort of personal expensive grail is the, is the uh, Grimsman Norseman here. But when you break it down, this is still just titanium and RWL34 steel. Now it's got a wonky grade, to, you know, I get it. This one's weird, but, you know, so this is 900 to a thousand dollars easy. Now on this knife, you're paying for what is some of the best sort of milling and work on the planet. The folks at Norseman really, uh, Grimsmo really put together a hell of a knife, but still, the difference between this and this are in the manufacturing, the amount of time it takes in the fit and sort of finish. It's in the small details because both of these, I mean, this is S35VN and titanium. This is RWL34 and titanium. Both of these are essentially, in fact, this has got technically a better blade steel, right? This is... 230 bucks. This is 900. So it's in the fine details that you really find the difference here. This is something else. Okay. The amount of work that went into making this knife, and these are made one off at a time. These are customs essentially. Uh, the act of marrying the M390 into the carbon fiber, the act of milling out both the carbon fiber and the titanium, getting this all to work together the way that it does. Well, if time is money, the amount of time that it took to manufacture this speaks to the amount of money that it costs. And unlike 
this where you can get very similar knives and similar materials for a third the cost, you aren't going to find a knockoff version of this, at least one that's worth a shit for, you're just not gonna. So unlike a lot of my really expensive knives where I tell you that if you want one, get one, but you can get something very similar for less money, you're not going to find this for less, you're just not. This thing is amazing. The interface is a science experiment mixed with a functioning user's tool, and I just love that about it. So let's take a look at what you get on the VC Edge Knives interface, because I love this thing. <laughs> I really do. Uh, am I going to get one? You know, I guess when Dirk got this, when this one came out, they were, you know, eight, eight fifty, nine hundred, and I guess the most recent ones are going for about a thousand. And you can get Dirk's got one that's got Dama Steel and some other stuff that is twelve, fifteen hundred bucks. I don't know. Um, would I like one? Yeah. But as you guys know, when I move into expensive knives, and I have a few at this point in my collection. In order to get there, I trade or sell other knives. And in order to get one of these, I would have to trade or sell a lot of knives that I really love. So I'm not sure that's something I'm gonna do right now. I might, I might. This thing is awfully good. All right, let's talk about it real quick. So what do you get? Well, you get three and a half inches of M390 cutting surface on what looks to be about a three and three quarter inch blade. Grip area from behind the flipper is a full four inches, actually it's four and an eighth, so lots of room on this very neutral and very comfortable handle. The way this thing is shaped is the carbon fiber is absolutely at its thickest back here at the pivot, right? But you do get a steel, let's see if I can show that to you. So the, there is a steel insert in the back. See that? So that you are, it definitely, oh, it has a, a steel lock bar insert as well. So you are a steel lock bar insert on steel at the back of the blade. So there's no wiggle, no rock. And it's really thick back here by comparison. I don't know if you can see that, but see how thick that is? And then come forward, it thins very rapidly, right? This thing is astounding. Anyway, sorry. So you get four inches of grip, four and an eighth from there. The knife overall from tip to tail is eight and a half inches. Closed length on this amazing interface. By the way, this is number 79 is one, two, three, four, and three quarters inches overall. In the pocket profile, now it is flipper tabbed, right? But this is carbon fiber and it's knocked down carbon fiber. So it's not like you have to worry about this digging into anything in the pocket. You are looking at inch and a quarter. So it's very lean. Let's do some size comparisons for knives you may be a little more familiar with. Here it is against full size grip. It is bigger than a full-size grip. Here it is against our old friend, the bug out. And as you can see, it is considerably bigger than the bug out. In the land of expensive knives, since I already showed some of them to you. Here it is against the Norseman. I mean, talk about <laughs> radically different approaches to the concept of knife. I love this thing. But anyway, um, they're very similar in size, the Norseman and the uh, VC Edge interface here. Here it is against an SMF Strider. Right? This happens to be a 20 CV version. Um, this is the FW Peam edition. I, I don't really like Striders that much, but this one, God, anyway. And finally, uh, here it is against a custom glimpse from Todd Bag. There. Now we have shared this knife with budget-friendly stuff, and we have shared it with some of the more expensive bits from my collection. Um, if you are interested in getting into a really expensive knife, 
that marries art and science, beauty and functionality. The interface is really a good direction. I will put a link to his website in the description. I don't normally recommend really expensive knives. I don't. I say the following. If you are interested in investing in something like this, and if there is a style that really appeals to you, then get one because you won't be disappointed. This is one of those. It's so unique. Now, the design is not wholly unique. I mean, the look, if you were to sketch this thing with pencil, it's just a knife, right? He's really managed to keep it very clean in its design. But I'll tell you, the amount of work that went into making an ultralight, super useful... God, that thing is amazing. The snap is just out of this world. Anyway, um, I love this knife. I do. Now, let's weigh it because that really is its party piece. Oh, and I did talk to Dirk. Uh, turns out that, that the guy that runs this, and I have to, his name will be in the description. Maybe it's down here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't read that. Sorry, I'll put it in the description. Um, sorry, bud. <laughs> I knew it a minute ago, but I'm bad with names. Anyway, uh, the whole point was an ultralight carry. And so let's see. Using the bug out, which is sort of the go-to go as an ultralight carry option. Let's take a look at what you get. So this is the CF Elite bug out, the lightest of the light. Comes in at 1.8 ounces. The interface, 1.6 ounces. 1.6 ounces for an eight and a half inch knife. Okay. Yeah, they've, he's definitely achieved what he was after. Um, I love the floating backspacer. Can you see that? Look at that. Let's move it to the light. There we go. Got a floating backspacer. Pocket clip is got perfect ramp and spring. This really does carry very well. And unlike a lot of the really expensive stuff that Dirk has been generous enough to loan me, this one I have carried. And I've carried it because the guy that runs VC Edge Knives, uh, unless you you know, fuck this up, excuse my language, but doing something really stupid with it, uh, he will take care of it if something goes awry. Even the backspacer, um, you're not going to be able to see this, but maybe a little, even the backspacer is milled out on the inside <laughs> to save weight. Oh man, this thing is beautiful. Um, so it is carbon fiber. Right? So you're not going to want to swing it sideways and slap it up against something because you will damage your knife. You're not going to want to pry with this, but please don't pry with your pocket knives anyway. That's not what they're for. I don't foresee you buying this to scrape paint off things, but you might. No, this is an elegant and refined cutting tool for sort of daily EDC tasks. And I do want to say again, there is no line here. So you don't have to worry about material getting stuck between the carbon fiber and the M390. It's perfectly smooth. And it does cut. I have a piece of paper handy. That is not one. Hang on. Okay. Piece of paper achieved. Ooh, a little bite. A little bite. As I said, but still, I mean, it just... Nothing, there's nothing to interfere with this, the slide of the, of the blade through the material. Dirk is sending this back for a spa treatment. I'm sure it will get sharpened at that time. I did ask him, you know, what happens down the road if you sharpen this thing so often that you start to eat away, you know, lower the amount of M390. And I guess the response is that the guy will fix it. You may have to pay for a new piece of M390, but he'll fix it. And basically... That's what you would want from any sort of high-end custom knife, which is one of the reasons I don't like Strider very much. If something goes wrong with this, A, you can't use regular tools to fix it, and you're sort of on your own. Uh, the folks at Grimsmo are apparently uh, better than that. I'm, I've never had a problem with this, but you know, if you're willing to send this thing back to Canada, they'll fix it for you, which is really nice. But that holds very true for VC Edge knives. If something goes wrong with this, they'll take care of it. As long as it's not 
you know, just you being an idiot. I mean, I've been an idiot many times, but he'll take care of it. And so I love that. Again, there'll be a link to VC Edge in the description. Uh, go check out the website. His stuff is out of this world. And I think that's where we're going to leave it. Um, this is the VC Edge interface. Uh, really interesting marriage of high-end materials, carbon fiber, M390, and titanium, done in a truly unique and interesting way, all the while keeping the basic profile, the basic userness of this thing just as knife, right? You don't have to relearn how to do anything to use and carry this thing. I think it's wonderful. And Dirk, I really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for sharing this with me and so I get to share it with the folks on the channel. The VC Edge interface is just an example of what VC Edge Knives is doing and God, is it fantastic. And that's where we are gonna leave it. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you've enjoyed this look at this really sort of unique and special piece. I know I've enjoyed having it around the house. I'm going to be sad to see it go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.